Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Made a Way. Beloved family, our text says, As Pharaoh approached, the Israelites looked up, and there were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm, and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. Raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. Exodus 14, 10 to 16. One of my favorite gospel artists, Travis Green, sang, Standing here, not knowing how we'll get through this test. But holding on to faith, you know that. Nothing can catch you by surprise. You got this figured out, and you're watching us now. But when it looks as if we can't win, you wrapped us in your arms and stepped in. And everything we need, you supply. You got this in control. And now we know that you made a way. When our backs were against the wall, and it looked as if it was over, Lord, you made a way. And we're standing here only because you made a way. As we begin this seed and picture the Israelites with their back against the Egyptian army and their face toward the Red Sea, there was no way for them to go. They were standing there, not knowing how they'll get through this test. But Moses held on to faith and he knew that God is still in control and he would make a way. I can imagine the widespread panic that struck the entire nation. They were not a people skilled in military warfare, but servants and slaves. All they knew and understood was how to serve Pharaoh, not fight battles. And Pharaoh believed that he owned them, which was why he would not let them go. And when they did depart, he saddled horses and chariots and came after them. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country, though that way was shorter. For God said, if they face war, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led the people around by the desert road toward the Red Sea. Exodus 3, 17 to 18. Now here they are between a rock, the Egyptian army behind them, and a hard place, the Red Sea before them. There is no way to go. But beloved, I'm here today to remind you that God can make a way out of no way. No matter the rock hard situation that you may find yourself in, rest assured that our Father God will come to your rescue and he will open doors that was not there before. Just as he promised, even if there are no visible doors, he will make one for you. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for you and me. He will be your guide and hold you closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day, he keeps on making a way. As fear gripped the people, Moses makes a bold declaration. The Lord will fight for you, he says. You need only to be still. This is a good word and lesson for you and me. Moses spoke life in what was seemingly a dead situation. Their only option was to turn around and be destroyed by the Egyptian horses and chariots or move forward and drown in the Red Sea. So Moses tells them the only thing they can do is stand still. 
and see the salvation of the Lord. How many times have you been in a situation where there was no way out, no way to go, and all you could do is stand still? Well, that is my message to you right now. Stand still. Only stand confident knowing that our God will fight for you. Don't stand in fear. Stand up. Rise up. Lift up your chin. Stick out your chest. Stand knowing that victory belongs to Jesus and victory shall be yours. But watch what God says. He is looking at the entire scene. He sees Pharaoh's army pursuing them. And he notes that they are in defiance and disobedience to him. Which Moses knew as well. God sees the Red Sea and he hears the cry of his people. Yet he makes a way by allowing his servant to make a way. Why? Well, because he had given authority to his servant Moses for him to command that a way be made. Now, don't miss this because it is powerful. God says to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Huh? What? Moses wasn't crying out, the people were. Ah, you just missed it. That was because God expected the people to cry out, but not Moses, because Moses had authority. Moses spoke confidently to the people and said, stand still, God's got this. But in his mind, he might have been thinking, boy, I hope God show up and save us just like I said he would. So God, knowing his thoughts, says, son, use what I gave you. Lift up your hands in praise and thanksgiving to me. Stretch out your hands. Speak to the sinking, watery situation you find yourself in, in your life, and I will help you make a way out of no way. God says, tell the Israelites to move on. This is God's word and message to you this morning. Stand still. Acknowledge God. Speak to him, then to your situation, and then move on. He will part the sea of trouble in your life and make a way for you. Much love.